Good evening, folks. It's Diamond with the Oppenheimer Ranch Project and Magnetic Reversal News, bringing you a grand solar minimum update Wednesday, May 15th, 8.30 p.m. Mountain Time, 2024. An X 3.0 solar flare, the 12th in just a few days. But this one is from a new active region that is about to be named. Keep calm. It's boom time. Severe thunderstorms with hail and damaging winds target the Southeast Plains on Wednesday. Florida got hammered. Multiple rounds of storm bring threats of severe weather and flooding into your New Orleans weather forecast. And severe thunderstorm watch is issued for parts of Kansas. And like we said, severe storms pose a threat to Central Florida, but that threat for the most part is over and there are some lingering showers. Hail flooding forecast across Texas Thursday. Texas will once again have to deal with large gorilla hail, damaging winds, and some flooding on Thursday. And here is the forecast. Severe weather in Florida and the Great Plains. Heavy rainfall in Hawaii and the Gulf Coast. Scattered severe thunderstorms will continue over parts of north central Florida and develop in the southern Great Plains. New daily record high temperatures are expected for portions of South Florida and South Texas. The next is of the Shemexis in the next couple of days. Flash flooding is expected in Hawaii. On Thursday, rain may cause additional flooding across East Texas and Louisiana. There is the flooding watch in those states. Click on your county for more information. A quick look at the GFS model shows, yeah, over the next three to six hours, the rain is going to come to an end in Florida, but the severe weather is going to pop up here, first in Kansas in just the next few hours, and then over Texas, the nexus of the Schmexis moving east. Heed the warnings. Here is total snowfall, and we do still have snow through the end of May there, folks in the West, as well as across Canada. Chile's capital faces fiercest cold snap in decades. We're talking Santiago, Chile. Chileans are bundling up with more clothes and clutching cups of hot coffee as the country faces the most intense cold snap in nearly 70 years, bringing winter weather in the middle of autumn. Since 1950, that is, in the last 74 years, we have had not had a cold wave as intense as the current one in May, according to climatologists at the University of Santiago, Rual Cordero, according to Reuters. Whew, what a mouthful. Seismic update. Pretty moderate amount of earthquakes worldwide. Nothing significant to report on west coast of the U.S. I'm sure this four magnitude Nine kilometers southeast of Blue Lake rattled some nerves. That is on land. This one was at depth 25 kilometers. Typically, that's a surface quake up around 10. But I'm sure there was considerable shaking. Worldwide volcano news. We've got Liwotolo. New lava flow arm descends into the western flank there. As you can see, Ibu puffing. 17,000 foot earlier today with an even bigger puff we'll get to. Semaru, 15,000 foot. Who knew? Now you do. Sakodajima, 7,000 foot puff. Ubinus today. Fuego to 16. Sabankaya intermittent emissions. Semaru, 15,000 foot puff. Ibu, 21,000 foot explosion. And we got a picture coming up here. Abeko puffing to 14,000 feet today. Here is that spectacular explosion at Ebu, let's open the image up and take a closer look of that plume. Pretty fantastic. Happening just earlier today. Hey, hey. Fantastic cloud up to 21,000 feet with abundant ash. Liwotolo, 6,000 foot. Semaru, 15. Dukono, 9,000 foot. And that sums up Worldwide Volcano News. Space weather was spicy today. Take a look at this. Two more X flares. We're talking an X 3.4. And that was from another X flare from departing region 3664. 11 total X flares from that region. And a 12th one, X 2.9 from a new, newly assigned. Do we have a number? Active region 3682. So now you know. Uh, the activity on the sun has dropped off a cliff over the last 10 hours. So 
I don't think this new active region we have much to worry about. But another major solar flare, this time an active region just beginning to turn into view on the east limb here. It's possible the group responsible is the old AR3654 from the previous rotation. Now, we could will we see Earth facing quiet as these uh, sunspots face Earth? What will happen? Here is the latest HMI. 3679 looks pretty considerable. And that will be Earth-facing starting now for the next five days. Overall, the three-day geomagnetic forecast showing G1 geomagnetic storm for today, but we haven't pushed up in there. There is a slight chance of aurora up in Canada this evening, but it's looking quite quiet for the next three days geomagnetically. I like to quickly talk about the solar cycles and the solar storm we just saw and the X flare, the largest X flare of the solar cycle, the X 8.5 we just experienced the other day. As far as sunspot cycles are concerned, there are always X flares and sunspot cycles, typically over 50 X flares and solar cycle 25 is no different. We've already had 47 X flares and sometimes there are hundreds of X flares in a solar cycle just like solar cycle 23. Hundreds of X flares here. And the intensity of the X flares differ. Here we can see the strongest at, uh, top five go from X20 to X40 in solar cycle 23, which is a strong cycle. And then one of the weakest cycle in 200 years, you can see the top five go from X7 to 13. Much, much weaker than 20 and 40. 7 to 13, and you can see solar cycle 25 right now. We are at X4 to X8.7, and we are about at solar max. So solar cycle 25 lining up to be another weak cycle. Remember, the weakest solar cycle in over 200 years still had an X13 and an X11 and an X9.9. So we could see as many as three more large X flares higher than this, even in this solar cycle, even in such a weak cycle. Just thought you'd like to get up to speed on what actually happens on the sun every 11 years and, you know, stop some of the fear-mongering. This is a great site. I will leave you links below like we do to all of the things we discuss. Atoms squished closer together than ever before, revealing seemingly impossible quantum effects. Using a clever laser technique, scientists have squished pairs of atoms closer together than ever before, revealing some truly mind-boggling quantum effects. In fact, 10 times closer than any previous experiment. That's certainly going to do some bizarre things. The extreme proximity of the atoms allow researchers to study quantum interactions at this length scale for the first time and could lead to important advances in development of superconductors and quantum computers according to a report published May 2nd in the Journal of Science. This 5,000-year-old block of ice reveals the true state of CO2 levels now. The only problem is when they're talking about man-made anthropogenic climate change as being, and the CO2 rise is the most extreme in history, they're lying to you. And this data set going back 50,000 years is actually during glacial maximum, the maximum ice age, which is not the same as the interglacial we're living. So just bad science all around. This is fascinating. The mystery of warm-blooded dinosaurs could be unraveled by a new study. Dinosaurs lived year-round in the Arctic, fossils have revealed. And if the Arctic was in fact cold... How is that possible if the animals are cold-blooded? Were dinosaurs warm-blooded like birds and mammals or cold-blooded like reptiles? Or is it a mix? It's one of paleontology's oldest questions, and gleaning the answer matters because it illuminates how the prehistoric creatures may have lived and behaved, challenging the prevailing idea that they were all slow, lumbering, cold-blooded lizards that basked in the sun to regulate their body temperature, research over the past three decades has revealed that some dinosaurs were likely bird-like, with feathers, and perhaps the ability to generate their own body heat. How do you like them apples? It actually looks like a bald eagle there. 
100 years ago, we were all preppers. And now, less than 1%. But it's not too late. All heirloom vegetable seeds from the Alliance of Native Seed Keepers are only $2 a pack. Order more than 25 bucks, get free shipping. Use coupon code ORP2024 for an additional 10% off. And that's a boom to knowledge. Please share this video as we are shadow banned by YouTube and need your help to grow. Become a Patreon, support the work we do, watch all of our podcasts in one place commercial free. Be safe. We love you. We'll see you soon. Mm -hmm.